No, no, pointer! Oh, okay. I want Wait, to see ooh. I want to see ships being cut in half with the lasers and then the pieces floating away from each other. Well, if I That's what I want to see. Your attention, no, no. That being if there's said, a link in chat I'm just addressing gonna exactly your attention that. attention to a thread in which we're going to post up. It's in the chat right now for anybody watching. Uh, I'm going to put it in the description as well and basically it looks Can you like also it's... post it into the team speak? Well, it's currently on the stream right now, so if you want to see it. If you are the following the stream. Uh, basically, <laughs> minimum physical you should be threshold. Looking. I can't follow the stream because my Adobe is not up date, and I'm on my old computer with um, <laughs> uh, Bro, password. Play, Bro, Lego. Um, I'm just trying to talk. <laughs> Let's get on with this. <laughs> Sorry, Lego. Basically, uh, minimum physical threshold. So I'm just going to go from. In fact, Cal, do you want to introduce this? Because it seems like you've just done this post. Oh no, I, I wrote it up well enough, you can go through it. Okay, cool, what so, I was right, excellent. What are you guys so, working on? Well, we, we're just sort of well, diverging you guys away I'm from gonna weapons. I'm going to make sure these turrets are actually working. I'm just going to diverge oh. away from weapons and look at this enable break I think I have the mega, I think I have the mega sort made. figured out. Yelby, you might want to recloak. No. So, this oh, does relate to weapons though, so. Oh, okay, so basically, Get ready to spawn some Cal cards to sense. make sure they actually work. I haven't had a chance to go over this schema yet. Uh, this, this is a kind of side project, okay? Uh, these things are just ideas that have come to mind. There are a few concepts that would help alleviate the lag induced by break-off. So this is to do with the break setting, confirm? Not to break, to break off. When you shoot a ship and parts fly off, I don't know if you've messed with that setting. Yes, yes, we've messed with it, but it's... Okay, I can unreliable. confirm. I'm just Yelby, making sure go ahead and start deleting the ones that are not moving. They have to be replaced. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, the yeah. the two big ones at the back that I had to replace to get, actually get on there are working. The other six are not. And FYI, Zero is currently docking his turrets. So, um, <laughs> basically, uh, what he's saying here is... Oh, carry on. We now, I now know the problem and I can get it fixed and we can do a proper test. Cool. So the minimal, minimum physical threshold. When a section of a ship is broken off, the game should first determine its block count. If this block count is under a server defined threshold, 25 blocks for example, is tagged as debris. Anything over the threshold is tagged as wreckage. So, then we go into the box dim ejection section. Who's eating their keyboard? <laughs> Stop eating your keyboard! Sorry. That's alright. Sorry, tacos. Right now. When debris and wreckage are first generated as new entities upon break-off, they are set to non-physical, meaning all collision calculations are turned off, and they can freely clip through your ship. Any one of these entity types is present in a ship's box dim, it's pushed towards the nearest outside coordinates, so shoved outside your ship. Next, entity physics activation. Once these two entity types are no longer inside the ship's box dim, they enter the next stage of the process. For debris, these small block count entities are left non-physical, but are given a despawn timer, similar to core overheat. This allows the majority of the debris... Uh, <clears throat> that pop-up. ...that people want, I know, while not, civic, while not significantly impacting performance. This also cleans up clutter after a certain time period has passed, preventing servers from becoming oversaturated with millions of drifting blocks. As these number of entities exceed a server limit, the game may simply start removing all this generated debris. Uh, and then for the wreckage, which is the larger chunks of blocks, they're set to physically collide with other objects once leaving the uh, spawning ships boxed in. This allows far common le large break-offs to continue to drift in space as permanent or semi-permanent entities, which is possible to despawn when inactive for a period of time. So you may then collide with, move, shoot, or even build on them. Uh, that being said, there are still other issues that need to be solved with the break-off si system. Hope you at least enjoy the that, idea. That's all just hedging, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But true, this is exactly how how I'd like to see it. Obviously, if it could was you possible, that'd be amazing. Could you imagine having someone like shoot the core out of your Titan, right? And the Hulk is just floating there, like the tail end of it, and someone comes along and builds a new ship on that? Well, I mean, just for the right now, you know, if you think about the, the battles that we're doing now, um, it would be amazing to see a ship get chopped literally in half. Yes. Uh, so, 
Do I see a hailstorm? There, there's a hailstorm. We it's got uh, a mini storm. one. It's a mini hailstorm. Yeah. We got uh, Devin with uh, an Odin class. Dark Devin with an Odin class. Can't see Looks Devin. like he's going. Oh, I see him. He's way over there. And we're just sort of discussing. So, sorry about that. So yeah. Um, it's neat. That is. I love that little mini hailstorm. It's cool. Hey.